So now we're going to move on from our animations and connect through game to see how we can embed video in our apps. And it's actually really easy to do. So let's start with a new project, which I'll call video demo. Set it up in the usual way. And while that's setting up, you will need a video to use in your apps. So maybe you've got an MP4 file to hand, but if not, you can just go to androiddevcourse.com forward slash demo video dot mp4 and depending on which browser you have it'll either start downloading or start playing if it plays then just control click or right click and download video and that will then download the video to your computer so you can use it in the app but any video that you can find will work Okay, now we need to put the video into the app. And to do that, we need to create a new folder within the resources folder. So the easiest way to do that, I think, is to control click on a Mac or right click on PC and reveal in Finder or Windows Explorer. And then just in the normal way that you would create a folder, add a new folder called raw and this is going to be where we put our video content so once you've added that new folder find the demo video that you've just downloaded and drag it in there we go so the video is now there we just need to refresh oh sometimes it does it itself very helpfully if it doesn't, then you just need to control click or right click and synchronize res. All right, now we've got our video. We just need to add the facility to play it. So let's add a video player in the main activity layout. So we'll do a search and you can see we've got something very helpfully called video view. That sounds pretty promising. So we'll bring it in and we'll make it full screen. Stretch it to the edge. And the only other thing we need to know is its ID, which is of course, video view. All right, so now we just need to write our code to attach the video to the video view. And we'll do that in the onCreate method because we want this to be attached and play as soon as we open the app. And as usual, we'll create an element with the class that we want. So video view called video view, and we'll use find view by ID r dot ID dot video view. And we'll do the casting, even though it's not strictly required above API. 26. And then next we need to set the path of the video that we want to use with our video view. So video view dot set video path and then we need to get this exactly right. So as a string we start off with android dot resource and then colon double slash that's a bit like HTTP colon double slash as you would use for an internet address. But this says that we're going to look inside the Android resources area. And then we want to access our resource area, i.e. for this particular app. So we add the package name to our video path. And then we just need to add a slash in there and then we add the file name which is stored in r dot raw dot demo video so that's how you access resources that are stored in the file structure of your app and then very simply we use video view start three lines of code and we've got a video up and running in our app. Let's take a look. 
and there it is. You can see in the new Android Studio 3, it actually plays much smoother in the emulator than it did in version 2. Excellent. So now we've got our video up and running, but you may have noticed that there were no controls on that video. So that might be what you want if you want to force your users to watch a particular video, but normally you're going to want to give them controls to pause and seek back and forth, etc. So to do that, we bring in a media controller. We'll call it media controller. And it's going to be a new media controller. And we just have to define the context of the media controller, which as usual is this app, which we use the keyword this to refer to. And then we just need to link that up to our video view. So media controller dot set anchor view. We want to anchor it to our video view. And then finally, we want to allow that to control our video view. So we use video view dot set media controller and the media controller we want to set is the media controller we've just created. All right, let's take a look. So we should now be able to view the video, but also control it. And there you go. So we can now pause, seek back and forth, etc. So super easy. That's how you add video to your apps in just five lines of code. Now we're going to jump straight on to see how we do the same thing with audio.